Hey guys, Austin here. Today we're back with another video, and today, as you can see, I have double daylight on my iOS device, my iPhone X. And here's how you do it: you're gonna go to App Store, click on your profile, click on it again, and then you want to click Country slash Region. You want to make sure your account is no money at all, zero dollars and zero cents, and you want to choose Australia. I think New Zealand works, but I'm not sure on that, so just choose Australia. And once you've done that, you're all good. You want to go to search. You want to search Dead by Daylight, and it'll be right there to download for free. Also, this lets you get any game that has not come out in the U.S. early, and you can get it for free. Now that we load into the game, you can see it's a beta build, and as you can see, we also get more stuff at the start, but are limited on how many characters are already unlocked. And um, it looks a bit weird to see we start with 300. <coughs> Of those like cells, 7,000 shards, and 3,000 blood points. There's also obviously some clothing options, everything, and perks, obviously. That's an obvious one, but uh, this is not my first game. I've played a few games before this just to get used to the controls a little bit. And uh, the wait times are a little long, so I'm just gonna skip to get the gameplay. Alright, now that we have loaded into the game, as you can see, the graphics aren't all that bad for an iOS, or well, for an iPhone X iOS beta build uh, that is released not in the US yet. As you can see, the only thing that looks really bad, like really bad, is the grass and the generator. Now, the grass is bad in a good way because you can hide in the grass really good and the killer cannot see you. As you can also see, the skill checks are a lot different. It's kind of a circle at the half, like a rounded curved circle. Not circle, curved line across the screen. You got hit it out of the square. But the also, also it auto repairs. Like you just click the button and it repairs. That's like not to hold anything down. Also, same about crouch. You can just tap it to toggle it. It's a toggle instead of holding it, which is great actually. Also, if you guys are a bit tired of Dead by Daylight, I'm sorry for that. My microphone broke on my headset, so I couldn't record new videos. So all of those videos I already had made in the past, a lot to go up all in the row. I didn't have any videos because my microphone was broken, so I was going to record some. But now i got a separate mic. As you might be able to tell, it sounds a bit better, and it stands on its own. Um, I'm going to stand it, stand alone, not take through the microphone and through a headset at all. And it's really good. It's a plug with a USB. I got it off Amazon. It's a five pin mic. It's a really good cheap microphone. Cause I was about to spend. I wanted a, like a snowball, but I was about to spend like fifty dollars on a mic. So this one does pretty well. I saw one on top five video. As you can see, uh, when you're not close, but like close enough, you can see a generators in the area with a little logo on your screen, which is pretty cool. Um. It's just really easy, the game. The game's actually really fun. I actually kind of like playing the mobile version. Like, not better than PC, but like, on the go. Like, at any time on the go, it's a lot better to use. As you can see, my heart is beating. You actually see the <laughs> in the game. And you're there. I can see it lags a bit also. But you see I got hit. It wasn't even close to me. It happens sometimes. The game lags a bit, just like it takes a lot of the games. Um, it's just how it is. America, it's a beta build of the game, so I'm trying to deal with it. <coughs> also, you see on the screen, it like makes it look like it's running a lot faster. There's a weird texture glitch on there as well, on some parts of the map. Um, I feel like it's really weird at the heart, actually, like, you can see it through your character model. It's weird. You can see I get clapped right here. Pretty badly, but we do still escape eventually. It's good. The players are all pretty average. You can see it lags in there as you just stand there. Yeah, you have to tap the screen off the sides of the middle. to wiggle. It's, it's quite weird, honestly. In the game, the, the change formats and stuff obviously make it work. But actually, it's pretty Also, when you go into the game, it's like a tutorial to show you how to do everything. It's not just lost. Like, with no head, um, on how to do things. Like, a chicken with no head. It tells you how to do everything in a tutorial. Which is. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, 
I do see my teammate got me there and I'm running away again. This perk is actually really good for mobile. Like, it is good, like pretty good overall. But on mobile especially because the controls are very good. Pretty much, okay, so for a while you can run really fast for a long period of time. Also, another issue that I think I have, or either I haven't found out how to do it, is that you can't read the description of perks. When you get new perks, you can't read the description of what they do. So I only know what these perks do because I have them on my PC account. But either I, it's a weird way to get to how to look at the description, or it's not in the game yet, like, implemented in the game yet. And like you can see, we're pretty much gen rushing this guy. Like I'm the only one that's got a hook. We're gen rushing this guy pretty good. Um, we only got one generator left. Everyone is average on there. Even the killers. No one's a sweat really. It was really, really good. Well, I play on an iPhone X, and I feel like if you play it on an iPad or even an iPad Mini, any type of iPad, the game would be really fun. Um, but I can't wait to see this game fully release. I'll just make videos on it as they update the game. The full release is going to happen this year, 2019, supposedly. Might get uh, brought back a bit. I know there's not that much time for the end of the year, but still have a few more months. So they can change a lot in a few months for a mobile game. Um, I'll get the graphics in a bit. Um, but I like the video. I'm glad that I got it on my PC. I can make videos, you guys. And, um, you can see we got the exit uh, opened up. <coughs> but, um, this is my new main, uh, at least on mobile. My new main is Meg Thomas, because uh, it was one of the starter characters. There was no Nia as a starter character or David or um, my DLC character. None of that was available off the start, so I had I chose Meg as my main. And now, um, voiceover in this video, I have a bunch of clues, a bunch of clues and stuff for her. This is one of my first games that I've played, so I did not. You see, um, all three of us do escape. Actually, all four of us. No, no, it's all three of us. The fourth guy, I don't think, escapes. I don't know, I leave kind of early, so he might escape, but I know all three of us escape right at the start at this moment. So it was, no, it was an overall good game. But it's really fun, I guess I'm I recommend you guys to go to the Australian app store by following the steps and um, downloading up a daylight and playing it. It's especially good when um, you don't have like, an Xbox or PlayStation or a PC to play it and you've never played it before but you've watched videos on it before and you want to play it. It's definitely good. Like It's not terrible. Um, for example, a lot of you that play Fortnite, Fortnite Mobile is dog crap it is terrible compared to actual Fortnite. I'm not, I'm not saying Fortnite is a good game, I'm just saying the mobile version is absolute garbage from the actual version. This isn't actually that bad. The menu is a lot different. You can already buy the cells. As you can see, the blood market is not the blood web. I like the blood market better though, in my opinion, because you're guaranteed a pink or purple at the end of every time. But I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.